special guest, you about to learn everything you need to know about everything you need to know. Man, I even had to buy a new pair of glasses after watching the show. So yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure y'all do it on Facebook, Instagram. It ain't gonna cost you nothing. So stop wasting your time watching other podcasts. It's the only one you need. Y'all know what it is. It's the smartest dog people. Hey, yo, what's up? Have you seen the Smartest Dumb People podcast? Yo, are you dumb? I'm getting smarter just thinking about it. Yo, yo, what's up? At the hottest podcast in the city, the smartest dumb people. I'm here with my nigga, that dude Johnson. You know what I'm saying? We go way back like four flats on the Cadillac. Y'all tune in every week or every time. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Do what you're supposed to do. Like, comment, share. Tell your people about it. Y'all know what it is. It's the smartest dumb people. See, man, when you get that type of Because he clearly see more than other people. So, like, they just was a story of the best podcast in the city. Like, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not pandering. You know what I'm saying? And they take vocals and, you know, split me. That's how I'm living on the top. You're a real hustler, huh? That's pretty neat. Uh, I'm into it. But, uh, I also, uh, met the team. She, they know she likes to go outside and play soccer by herself. We have to go outside and play soccer by herself. Right. Make sure I want to train her like Snoop Dogg. He's an icon in all festivals. Like, I'm also an icon in the world. No more, but before I let you explain that, I want to show a little clip of a little mom. I'm on Pandora, YouTube, I'm on Pandora, YouTube, and everybody, Carl, Jeff, 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 Jeff,
but I'm just saying. I, I love, okay. I love the oh, black God. love, okay. but, but it is what it is at That's this okay. point with me. Yeah, I still, I'm still gonna work for my people, and I still mm-hmm. want to see my brothers happy. And like I said, you're a brother to me because you always been cool. You always been. Uh, a dope dude, and to see you happy with a woman, man, it makes me happy because I know what you're like. And you know what? I, I feel exactly the same about you, my guy. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I'm definitely, man. I'm definitely. Yeah, we, we haven't connected in a long time, so I'm glad we're kind of taking the time to do that. You know, it's important. And you brought your lady with you, so let's get to the show. I, I did. Definitely. All right, so first topic, man. Guy comes out. Yes, it's going to be a relationship topic, of course. Cause we, got, <laughs> we got a couple on the show, and it's only right because now. I could be the mediator, I could be the judge, the jury over here, and we can have this conversation. So we're going to watch this clip. Brother comes out and say his girl was winning when he ain't had shit, and she deserves everything when she when he got shit. Let's watch the clip. We'll be right back with y'all. Most men, most real men, want to be able to provide the best life for their woman and for their family. Whether they're able to do it at this exact moment because they're dealing with internal struggles or external struggles, I can promise you that most men want to give that to their family and what that type of man needs is a woman who doesn't just want to be with him when he's at the top of the mountain but a woman who's willing to walk in that valley with him you showed up the same person when i was at rock bottom that you did when i first signed my million dollar contract in the nfl you honored and respected me the same way when i was lost and i was struggling to find my identity when i walked away from football the same way you did when I walked into football and that's what every man is looking for. He's looking for a woman that's not just willing to be with him for the good times, but she's willing to endure the tough times as well. All right. So that's the actual clip, man. And I'm going to start by saying what I'm starting to really believe, especially due to my circumstances and my situation is uh, real soulmates don't have expiration dates. Real soulmates don't have expectations. Yeah. Real soulmates don't have, uh, what's the word I'm looking for when you have like a certain, well, I said expectations, but it's different. What's the word to where you, I ain't dating him if he ain't got six figures, yeah. all right? Yeah. What's that? It's expectations, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. right. I had two shots, y'all gotta bother me. Yeah. Um, Standard. Standard. So yeah. what's your opinion as far I as feel like expectations? that expectation is dumb. Because I feel like if you really love a person, it shouldn't matter how much you make, what he drives, what he looks, you know what I mean? If you really earn love with him, it shouldn't matter. Mm-hmm. But some women don't think like that though. Some women think in a sense of, oh, I'm gonna go be with the, I'm gonna go play the test of water, see who got more money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you're a real woman, it shouldn't matter. Because right. you have your own bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether he has a bag or not, if you really love him, you're gonna help him get the bag. Mm, yeah. Does that make sense? Fuck so. yeah, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> teamwork. It's te- absolutely, it's teamwork. absolutely. Teamwork. Yeah. And if I'm like, if I got my bag secured and he doesn't necessarily have his bag secured, I'm gonna make sure he gets his bag secured because mm-hmm. that's what a good woman does. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. We never. Well, we the feminine energy is high today. We got a female <laughs> on the show and she represents for y'all. Look, I agree with you. What's your opinion, King? Um. I, I think at the end of the day, um, we are in this journey together. We're all working together. We're all working for like a common goal. To me, if you're a soulmate, then all that external stuff really shouldn't matter. You know what I mean? Like if we're connected on a level that's deeper than that, we should be able to be soulmates whether we're broke, whether we're, we're making it, you know what I mean? Because yeah. we're best friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't judge none of my friends, particularly my relationship, based off anything that they have or don't have. Mm-hmm. Um, what matters to me is, is are you going to be there when I'm sick? Are you going to be there when I'm hurt? When, are you going to be there when I'm depressed? Are you going to be there when I'm sad? Are you going to be there when I'm happy? Um, and if you can tell me yes to those things, mm-hmm. that's all I need to hear. Mm-hmm. I don't need to know how much money you got, yeah. what you can do for me. Um, I can do those things myself. Yeah. I got enough confidence where I can do those things myself. I don't need my soulmate to do that. You know what I mean? So I'm good with with whatever that energy is that we're bringing to the table because you're my best friend. Mm. You know, you're my partner. You're my soulmate. So all that other stuff is just a bonus at the end of the day for me. I I agree, um, but I also do feel like um, with a lot of expectations. Uh, 
become the downfall of a lot of people. So like I said, like I, I had to let my expectations go when I when I met my girlfriend. Like, let's be honest, we live in a, a nice ass trailer, but we live in a trailer. Yeah. And and well she lived in a trailer originally. And I'm like, I'm not fight like and, and and a lot of society eyes, let alone black people, trailer park, ain't nobody fight. Cause all we see is eight eight mile, M and M. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when I actually start living in a trailer and I was like, This is motherfucking nice. Like yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. and, and yeah. it's it's but I, I let go of those expectations of uh, I'm not dating a girl that ain't got this. I ain't dating. I'm not saying that my baby ain't got shit. I'm saying that I, I let go of expectations and, and really let whatever happened happen. Yeah. Well, you know? our expectations are built off the foundation of what we see. You know what I'm saying? If you if you don't mm -hmm. see anybody who is living a good normal, like if you're if your entire expectation is based off of okay with trailers. You only see poor white trash in trailers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, you don't know that there might be people that are really happy in them trailers. And nice trailers. You're right. Exactly. You know I had to put I mean? that in there. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I live I live in North Omaha. The image of North Omaha is is for some people. Oh, I would never move there, not knowing that I have a, I have a pretty nice house mm -hmm. in a nice neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't see nothing. So the the, the image of what people think that they see or think that they know is only limited by the scope of what they see. Mm, right. For me, if if you gotta walk in those shoes. But I see them motherfucking potholes every time I come to North Carolina. There are potholes. Nah, yes. nah, I, I, I live in Ralston now. Hey, I, I see the motherfucking potholes. I lost the rims on my Jeep because of a pothole. <laughs> I know that. So, 100%. So expectations of this is no slander in North Omaha. I'm from North Omaha. I'm from Omaha. The this point is, that I'm making though is not the fact that there are not potholes in Omaha. The point that I'm making is you don't always you don't always see what you get. Yeah, yeah, you right. know what I mean? Like things are actually maybe more beautiful on the inside Absolutely. than what the image that we portray yeah, is at the end of the day. So for me, I, I enjoy whether you whether it's in a trailer, if you got a nice trailer and you're happy, yeah, yeah, yeah. who cares about what anybody else thinks about it? Real talk. You know what I'm saying? It does not matter. Well, the I, love and the energy is what matters that's coming out of that trailer. My advice to everybody that's watching, let go expectations. I guarantee you'll find your soulmate. Once you stop Absolutely. saying, once you stop saying, I, I, I won't date a man that got 10 kids, you don't know why he got those 10 kids. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, maybe he had abandonment issues and he was just sleeping with every girl he could uh, without protection and he wind up having 10 babies. Does he take care of them? That should be the expectation. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But. I'm saying when I let, like, I can only speak for myself personally, when I let go expectations of what people, the image of what people thought I should be or who I should be or what I should be, that's when I became my happiest. Yeah, um, yeah. Like, now I wear Skechers in public. But you know what's crazy? Because your path, your, your path led you to her. Yeah, fact. It's not anybody else's path. You know what I'm saying? Your path, whatever choices and, and decisions that you decided to make, it led you to her. Just like my path led me to her. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks how did, about. How did y'all meet? Man. Did I ask that? Yeah. Yeah. So we tell the story a lot, man. So um, it was a Monday. You I know had, the motherfucking day? I know the motherfucking day, yes. Damn. So I had just, I was doing some training for Union Pacific. Mm -hmm. And I was doing some, um, uh, it's called RCO, which is remote control train, basically learning how to control the train from a remote control. Um, it was my first day the night before I got no sleep, none. Probably slept for three hours. Um, I got up and I went to class and during the class I felt myself falling asleep big time. I was dozing off, you know what I mean? I was like, dude, when they let us go to lunch, I'm going to run to a gas station and I'm going to get an energy drink, get myself something to eat. Bro, I don't spend that much time in Council Bluffs, you know, and so I didn't really know my way around, so I went to the nearest gas station, mm -hmm. which was a Casey's. Went to the Casey's, I went out, I got me uh, the pizza, I got a couple slices of pizza, I was hungry, got myself an energy drink. Went to the car, sat in the car, Smashing pizza, dude. dog. Your story is taking too fucking long. I'm just telling Tell you the story. Hey, I'm telling you the story because you got to know all of this, bro. I don't need to know how many bites. Of so pizza yeah, I'm so I'm sitting, in, I'm sitting in there, grease all over my face. Uh huh. Man, next thing you know, a car comes whipping in. Phew. 
<laughs> all I heard, all, all, all I heard, all I heard was some R&B music, bro. And I was like, this got to be a female. got to be. You know what I mean? So I'm sitting in the car, I'm smashing, smashing. She gets out the car. And she gets out, and she turns and she looks at me. And I look at her, <laughs> eye to eye, bro. And I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So then she turns around, she smiles at me, and then she goes inside, and I see her from the backside, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> so she goes inside, and I'm like, damn. She goes inside, and I'm like wiping off my face, because now I got Casey's pizza and shit all over my hands and my face. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm wiping my face, and I told myself, bro, if I drive away, I'm going to regret not talking to this girl. You know what I mean? I'm going to regret it. And so I sat there in the car waiting for her to come out. She came out, um, and I just kind of reached over, and I was like, I was like, I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry to disturb you. I said something like that, and I was like, you're, you're beautiful, you know what I'm saying? I just want to know if I can get your number. What? This yeah. is in 2023? This was just like a few months ago. This, was this is 2023, ago. people get out the car and ask for numbers? I didn't even... Well, so, yeah. the thing is, yeah. 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 Yeah, so she, like that. Yeah, so, you know, we started talking, and, um... Got her number, and we sat in her. She got in her car, and I got in mine. We were just texting each other. I went back to the facility that I was training at, and I still had about an hour on my lunch. So I'm texting her. I was like, "Yo, can I continue to talk to you while while I'm waiting?" She was like, "Sure." So we started sending these, and she was beautiful, and she was gorgeous. Um, my heart started just started beating, man. And um, from that day forward. I never stop talking to her. I'm gonna be honest. She has a smile that if she smiles at you, you bro, like I, like no. She had you. You got a smile. He, he posts pictures of you all the time. All but the just your smile, all the time. it gives the like. You better say something. Like, <laughs> like, you, like if she smiled at you, you don't. No, seriously. If she yeah. smiled at you as she was walking in the store, yeah. you can't just. So the crazy part, he didn't smile back. I smiled at him. Bro, I had pizza. He did, soft he did all not. He looked like I had grease nuts. on my face, bro. Like I wasn't not he trying like to smile. Seen, it was just completely just. Yeah, she said that, but I yeah. was, I was, I was, because I was in love. Who the fuck eats two slices of pizza? <laughs> I was, man. I was, I was eating at the same time. You know what I mean? I was, I was eating a slice of pizza. He was smashing, and I seen it before. You understand? Like, I, yeah, she was in the car. Yeah, because my tent is super, super dark. Yeah, so I, I couldn't see her. Then, yeah. So I had no idea yeah. who the woman was in the car. She was had already been looking at me while I had greased some shit <laughs> on my face. I feel like that again. When I said, when I said, I think when you let go of expectations or yeah. even uh, how you meet. Yeah. Um, you know, like when I met my girl, she came over and she sat on my couch and I'm like, she got a big booty. I'm definitely gonna smash. I said, I'm definitely gonna smash. So, but listen, I said, I was gonna definitely smash. And I was like, and I, and like I tried to explain to my girl, this is the way men think. I'm definitely gonna book. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna, like, if, if I'm gonna do anything, yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen after I do it, but I'm gonna give you some draws, like yeah. Tom said. TTD, yeah. yeah. gotta get the draws. Yeah. Yeah. But after I got the draws, like I said, she just wouldn't leave me alone, to be honest. She, she would not leave me alone. She would, in a good way. A, a good way. <laughs> Let me explain myself in a good way. Like, she, was, she was like, yeah, she uh, was how was your day going? And yeah. I'm like, yeah. it's yeah. cool. Yeah. Like, I'm, yeah. getting, I'm getting real dry. She and then she, and then she like, did you take your nap? Uh-huh. This yeah. motherfucker know too much about me. <laughs> like, my nap time is, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And, then, really good. and then it just grew from there. But yeah. I do believe soulmates are, are just meant to happen, like you said. Yeah. I think that it's just going to happen if it's going to happen. But you got to you gotta get rid of that. I'm about to go to the club and I'm finding me a man. And I, all that shit, get that out the window. Because like you said, y'all met on his work break. And what was you? I was at work. Lunch. Yeah, Casey's yeah, you know. in the dark alley. Yeah, in the dark. At Casey's in yeah. Council Bluffs. And you know what? Like I, I fell in love with her that day. Mm. Like, so we ended up talking that night, and um, we were just kind of chopping it up. And we there was a basketball game on. I think like Golden State and the Lakers or something was playing, and I kind of just you know brought it up and. Um, and you know, you know, some motherfucking uh, gone with the wind. Yeah, like shit, she, like we we ended up just hanging out. You know what I'm saying? And the notebook. Yeah, like and that day forward, man, like I, I just fell in love with her. Yeah. You know what I mean? We we talked on the phone, and we just had real good energy. Um, and I could tell that there was some some things in the past. You know what I mean? And we just kind of talked about a lot of those things, and just kind of we got just real close. 
kind of after that. You know what I mean? And we just kind of listened to each other. You know what I mean? And we became really tight and and, and best friends yeah. pretty much after that. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah. She she opened my eyes to a lot of different things. You know what I mean? And for me, um, I'm, I'm happy. You know what I mean? That's what's up, man. Yeah. I tell you what, we got to get to this next topic. Next topic. Yeah. So next topic is uh, so since y'all had met and y'all was like co each other and <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, being yeah, all romantic, yeah. did y'all start talking about body count? Mm -mm, no. All right, let's let's watch the clip. Uh, young lady by the name of what's her name? I know it is so, uh, Jenner, Jenner something. Brittany uh, Jenner. Brittany Jenner. Yeah. yeah. Brittany Reiner. Brittany Reiner. Brittany Reiner. Brittany. Oh, uh, she, she basically <laughs> <laughs> she basically came out and said that she had. Uh, she slept with 35 men and I'm talking about social media attacked her and I know a lot of women slept with way more men than yeah. 35. Yeah. Let's watch the clip, we'll be right back. Sex with 35 guys. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Oh Lord. <laughs> Impressive isn't Whew. the word. So if I'm judged for Anybody having- Anybody else need a shot of this? If I'm judged for having great taste. We are in the bar, so help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we got this for the next hour. Sex with 35 guys. Okay. <laughs> Whew. All right, so that's the actual clip, man. Let's get straight to it. Does body count matter? I can't go, I'll go uh, first. I'm going to let y'all. No, let the lady go first. Let, let me go first? Yes, please. Yeah. Please go first. Does body count matter? So... I can't relate to her, but I feel like certain women are searching for different things. And if, when she finds it, does it restart? Can she be rejuvenated, I guess? Can she be, like, be reset? Yes. Oh, it, can, reset. it cannot be reset, <laughs> but there could be a man that she finds that can make her feel like she's a whole new woman. Maybe she... Maybe she slept with them different guys because she was looking for something. Yeah. And uh, all of you guys could have maybe played a piece. And he's, you know. I, I, I say, uh, if you want to get a woman that's going, that's ready to settle down, get you a house. And I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> mm. I'm going to tell you why. Mm. You got you to get, mm. get a woman that's been through some... Uh, 35? Not necessarily. Time, time. <laughs> no. No, no. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Experience is everything. Uh, right? Shit, yeah. Experience is everything. Now... Do I want to date a woman that got 50 bodies? Fuck no. Yeah. But I do believe they make the best women because they've been through some shit. Like if you only slept with five guys in your mm -hmm. whole life, right? Everything looks or feels appealing to you. If they're charismatic enough. You think so? Fuck yeah. I don't think so. Listen, I feel like have as many bodies as you possibly can until you, you find that motherfucker that make you settle down. But I will say this. Soul ties. I, I, I think you lose a piece of yourself when you do that. Soul ties is everything. I'm yeah, right. I, I, I think you lose a piece of yourself. Uh -huh. Like, look, do what you do, uh -huh. but just know that there's consequences when you're out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Your body count high? No. My body count's not high, but the, the point that I'm hand. making. Yeah, the, the, the point that I'm making is that people are going to do with what's comfortable for them at the end of the day. Right? Yeah. They're going to do what's comfortable at the end of the day. You have to be willing to take whatever backlash comes along with that and whatever follows that, right? So for me, at the end of the day, um, what is it that you're looking for? Because the... Clearly she's searching. Yeah, like if you're searching for something... Unless, unless, unless she is that female who thinks that every single guy is attractive yeah. she has to sleep with him. Well, that's, that's because not, I know some females like there's, it. I, I, think call a thought, though. I think there's a different psychology. <laughs> that's called a thought. I know some there, guys there's like, a that. Different I saw like that. Yeah, there, there's a different psychology for all of it. You know what I'm saying? And I think at the end of the day, either you're searching, maybe you're not trying to settle down, you're trying to have as much fun as possible. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, you've been hurt in some kind of way, maybe you're dealing with some kind of trauma. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different yeah. things that happen Absolutely. in the process of, of all that. Um, you know, I, I can't speak for, for what's her name? Uh, uh, Brittany Ryan. Brittany Ryan. Or unless she just, and, and, some, and some of them just want to have fun. And it, unless she just wants to have fun. Yeah, so I, I just think that there's a lot of different I had a whole things. phase. I had a whole phase. <laughs> yeah, but, I, mean, I but, but, but I think that my whole phase came with feeling like I wasn't enough. 
right? So, mm -hmm. like, when you don't feel like you enough, you you try to put on as much bodies and, and pile on as much sex and, and have as much fun as you possibly can. I'll give you a story real quick. A young lady came to my apartment, and I was talking to my cousin about it today. A young lady came to my apartment. This is why I knew, like, I was I was on a different path. A young lady came to my apartment that I was like, yeah, I got a head and so one day she decided to come over to my house and she came over, she wasn't in my house for five fucking minutes. Mm -hmm. And she had a skirt on, she bent over and was like, fuck it, or some weird shit. And I was just like, I don't even, I, and like, I moved her aside and I was like, and I started like talking to her like a father figure. I'm like, yeah. you, do you know you're special? Like you don't have to do this. Something's They're, different. Like yeah. yeah, like, but I'm used to dealing with women like, yeah, I'm about to get, like, but she was so willing to like have sex with me, I felt bad for her, and I'm like, yeah. yo, yo, this this is not normal. Like, yeah. do you, right. like, yeah. do you got that pack on you? Like, you got that that yeah. Magic Johnson package, Damn. or what? Like, what would drive a woman to come in my house and I only knew her for five minutes yeah. to yeah. bend over she my right. couch like this? Yeah, for real, yeah. yeah. You know, and, and hopefully she blocked me on social media. Hopefully one day she come back around so we can have that conversation. Exactly. You know, I'm praying for you, Queen. There's better things out there for you. You ain't got to sleep with every man that walked through the door. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I think that you should have a body count. And it should go 10 plus. Mm. Oh. Mm. It should, for women. Women 10 plus, men 2,000. Nah. <laughs> women get 10, nah. we can get 2,000. 2,000? What? <laughs> what? Let me tell you why. No. Men got to really sow their royal oats. Women, they they are bred to be wise and be be in love. You can and all still be things. that, and not have to have a lot of bodies. No, I think that that's what I'm saying. Like I'm saying, the ten bodies is the these problem people. I have with that though is that when you get to that, most people ain't good. Let's just put that out there. If you if you put that into a woman's perspective, she's gonna have a lot of trauma before she finds happiness. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because most of us. It's particularly men, a lot of us ain't good. You know what I mean? And I think when you put women in those kind of situations where they're dealing with that many men, almost all of them are going to have some traumatic experiences. Let me read what some, some of these comments is. You know he said, mean? if a man meets a woman that has a single digit count, she is more apt to cheat. Uh, and then he said, most men are... Wanters, most women are pleasers. I mean, you got a point a little bit, Ken. I ain't going to lie to you. But uh, when you say the, the less men that women slept with, they're more apt to cheat. I don't agree with that. I, I, I know, like, um, women that have a low body count, yeah. that, that have respect for themselves. But I would say I don't think it's healthy. It, it, I think it just depends on, on how they view the world, how yeah. they were raised. Yeah. In their own experiences. Yeah. I think it's easy for us to say that in a broad sense, but I think when you take each person individually and you look at that and you say, this is kind of what this person's been through, like, I can't speak for her, but I can tell you based off the conversations we, we and her have had, mm -hmm. I don't think she would benefit Hell by no. having multiple, no. a bunch of people. Because, that's because, me. That's because not well, it's, it's not it's, it's, table table yeah, sorry. No, sorry. Yeah. So so some of the stuff that she's been through, uh -huh. she doesn't want to go do it again. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So I can't speak for all women who go through that. I can only based off my opinion, based off the conversations that her and I have had. I don't think that would benefit someone like her who's already been through certain things. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So for me, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I I have to say this because this is what I do for a living. Yeah. When you, when, this is going to sound mad weird and I ain't trying to be weird. I swear on my life I'm not. But when you say, uh, you're, I don't want to, because I don't want it to be, come off as disrespectful. No, no, but when you speak for somebody, yeah. it's kind of like putting them in a, like, do you feel that way? Because like when you say I don't think she would benefit from it, it's kind of like it's on, I always say that because me and her have already had this discussion. You know but, what I'm but saying? As, but as the the smartest dumb people therapists yeah. will tell you, it's not healthy to like like I can't convince you how you should feel. Well, that's that's so, my, that's my point, right? So the reason why I said what I said uh, as far as her is concerned uh, because we've already kind of had that discussion okay. when it comes to history, past. So I, expectation, right? So I think that 
It all depends on the woman. Exactly. And how you were raised. Yeah. It, it all, it all, some, it's not how you were raised. For instance, like me and my sister, we're two different people. Mm. My sister agrees with you. Go and find what you want. You know what I mean? And sleep with multiple people, which is fine. But for me, that's not for me. Yeah. Mm. It's just not for me. I mean, um, soul ties is real. Soul ties is definitely real. The real. I protect your soul ties, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I think protection yeah. kind of like that, is that, that, that gate. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, fine. Yeah. But then also in the same sense, you also gotta know. You gotta know. You gotta be in tune with you. Yeah. If you think that you need to go out here and sleep with multiple men in order to fulfill whatever you need to fulfill, then you need to get dig deeper into what's wrong with you. Do y'all go to church? No. I'm a um, are y'all spiritual people? Yeah. You know, like, yeah, actually, we're pretty spiritual. Yeah, yeah. so when, when y'all speak, y'all speak like y'all in a certain space, which is dope. Yeah. Uh, and it takes a lot of growth to get there, which a lot of people ain't there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, y'all have those conversations, <laughs> which is pretty fucking dope. Mm -hmm. um, and and if, like I said, I was going to mention it anyway. If I could turn back the hands of time and, and just say that I didn't give my I didn't get my previous relationship the mm -hmm. therapy that it needed. Mm -hmm. I was too busy being combative. Yeah. Um and now like I'm I'm forced and what I mean by forced is my girl demands fucking attention. Yeah. Absolutely. And 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 my previous relationship she didn't demand attention. She just fucking just like, yeah, yeah, you whatever the fuck yeah. you you ain't fuck with me, I ain't fuck with you. Yeah. And that's not that and, and my house now it's Mm -hmm. What can we talk about to make this better before we go to bed? I don't want to go to bed, man. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, you know, and it's very healthy. Like how y'all bouncing ideas back off, back and forth. I think it's very healthy. And I think we need more couples and more relationships to understand. Like communication is definitely key. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, I feel like me, when, when, what I have been through, I didn't use what I use now. Yeah. It's just, you, as you get older, I got married young. 18. Mm -hmm. Cause when I was 16, mm -hmm. you know, and what I know me, I was a good wife. I'm not saying I wasn't a good wife. I did all that. You know what I mean? But now my way of thinking now at my age, completely different than when I was 18. Yeah. Yeah. So you feel like when you grow, you change that dynamic of communication instead of y'all going to bed upset with each other. Y'all not sleep, speaking to each other because of what happened. Mm -hmm. Now that we're grown, you know, older, you think like, ah, it's silly. So can you, I want to see, can yeah. you give my man's credit for for being the man that's, I, I'm not telling you how to feel, because like okay. I told I can't tell nobody how to uh -huh. feel, but I know uh, how he is as a person. He's yeah. very mellow, very chill. All the time. Very adaptive. Yeah. You're not going to get that from just the average no. dude. Like, I knew you was a husband when you was a husband. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but it, you're not going to get that, that energy, like, he seems pretty understanding. Yep. Uh, you're not going to get that from every man. Some no. men don't give a fuck. No. Nope. Don't want to hear it. Been there, done that. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's not healthy. Like, it's not. As a couple, you got to be able to, like, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. it, it yeah. sounds weird. No, I mean, I, I don't think so. I think you have to be able to use your voice. You know what I mean? You have an opinion. Mm -hmm. you, as you're growing up as, as, a, as a human being, you have experiences. And you got to be able to relate those experiences to your partner. Right. You know what I mean? For me, um, there's very few things I get mad at. There's very few things I don't understand. Yeah. Um, I know at the end of the day, communication is, is key for any type of currency in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be able to speak my mind. I want her to be able to speak her mind. I, I want her to tell me when she's uncomfortable about something. I want her to tell me when she's unhappy about a situation. The last thing I want is for me to be thinking things are okay and they're not. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want her to use her voice because I think she's a beautiful, intelligent, smart woman. And for me, why would I hide a diamond? Hide a diamond. You know what I'm saying? Why would I keep the diamond in my pocket or keep it locked up in a room when it's supposed to be shown to the world? You, you know, my cousin said some, some shit like that. He said to me, he said, when you keep posting your girl, niggas gonna want her. And I was like, 
they can, if they can take her, they can have her. Yeah. I'm just showing y'all how happy I am. Uh -huh. yeah. like, yeah. I, I, I don't want to ever yeah. tell her how she can dress. Yeah. I don't ever want to tell her how she. I want to tell her. How my I girl. show my girl all the time. Because I tell my, my whole girl. thing is, you don't tell her. How she, you don't. Girl. You don't have a problem with the way she dresses. Right. So, so this is the thing. You should never put him in, in him in a silent Thank you. position. To make him feel like he has to say something about the way you dress, the way I carry myself is yeah. a reflection of him. Yeah, mm -hmm. facts. To me, I'm hey, I know my girl out there listening. <laughs> If you don't throw them my fucking dirty ass chucks away, I told her I was gonna throw them away. I, 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 I she said, away. I, today. I, I said, I you are a reflection away. of me. Yes. You gonna throw them dirty ass chucks away because Gerard yes. gonna see you in public and be like, this fucking. No, you know what? So, so he made me do my chucks so away. So he would go right? to the store. In the store, I beg one of the bakers. No, he would go into the store and just wear whatever. No, it's not whatever. The shoes. Some shoes I, I barely wore. I can't. Walmart is a reputable store. No, no, I don't, no, no, I don't agree with you. I'm saying, like, I kind of agree with her because I tell my girl that all the time. Like, I, babe, I post you a lot. Yes, so, please. so when people see you, please. like, you got to look somewhat. But, please. You know, but you know what? I'm not, I'm not, I've never been material. Flash yeah, yeah, yeah. My whole thing is at the end of the yeah. day, she knows my value. Yep. And I know hers. It doesn't matter yeah. what she got on. What she, she's still going to. She's still gonna be beautiful. You're still representing to me. her, though. You're right. But my whole thing is, my whole thing is, when I'm representing her, I'm representing her with my heart and my mind, not what's on my feet. I get that, but no, fuck that. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. No, fuck no, that. I'm just saying. I've I've went through years of my life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With whatever I had. You know what I mean? Whether it was, whether it was. No, you work for Union Pacific. You no, know I don't. I don't. I'm not there now. But what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, bro, like. To me, it don't matter because I'm still who I am. Facts. I am who I am at That's the end of the true. day, bro. It's like, not what's that, on like you, I will give you. you what I have at the end of the it's day. It's not what's on you. It's what's in you. Yeah, but, but you still, because again, I have these conversations with my woman. Yeah. You still should sometimes show your woman that you can get fly, you can smell good, you can get your hair cut. I'm going to. You have to. You yeah. have to. Okay. Because okay. my girl, my girl, she, I love my baby. I am, this is not an attack on my girl. I love her. Yeah. But she'll, I'll come in the house, I'll be gone for hours. I'll come in the house, her hair all crazy. Oh, nah. She got, And I'm like, babe, like, nah. you ain't brush your hair off. Yeah. She's like, I'm fucking cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, no, Listen, I mean, look, I, I, look I, I, I will say 100% that she's changing my perspective. Yeah. Right? But at the end of the day, I just never had that. I never, right. I never no, you had. always busted your ass and worked the best. That's what I'm saying. Like, I always so, worked. So you can I'll, afford. But my whole thing was, I, it was just something I just never thought about. Mm -hmm. until, I, until I came, until she came into my life where she was like, yo, you're a dope ass man. I want you to look dope. What's your, what's your guilty pleasure when it comes to spending money? Man, I'm a nerd, bro. Like, I love movies. I love comic books. I love so you buy comic music. Books. Yeah, I love music. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a nerd. I, I love so it. take three of those comic books <laughs> instead of buying them this month and go get you a nice pair of some bands <laughs> and the bottle. You no, know, she, yeah. she be hooking me up. Yeah, she be hooking me up, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah like she makes sure that my shoe, my my shoe game, and yeah. everything. Yeah, so. Um, that's important though. Like I know it sounds materialistic, no, but it's I, not, I man. I want like, his, I always told him I want his when I first met him, I said I want your outside to match your inside. Yeah. That's asking a lot though. Because the dude he, is dope. Though. He 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 is dope. But he's dope. But since he's so dope, rock them Jordans, cause that's dope. Them Nikes, all bands, whatever type of I feel like he should be the flyest even on the outside because he's the flyest on the inside. Yeah. That's, That's why, but, but being the flyest on the outside, look, I take pride in wearing my uh, my Gillian $5 shirts with the smartest dumb That's people logo yeah. and things yeah, like that. I take yeah. pride you know in it. Yeah. But I do I do try sometimes to at least put on great jogging pants and walk around the yeah. house. But I see that. But this is the thing. Girl. This is the thing. Like, I, this is the thing. Like, girl, I, like, great jogging pants. This, this is the thing. Like, I see her point. You know what I mean? I just never had that. Yeah. I never had. Uh, I've never been in a situation where somebody express. Like yeah, like wanted me to be dope. Mm -hmm. Um, if externally as internally. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? For me, it was just always like I, I was so used to just living off survival mode. You know what I'm saying? And just making ends meet, working. You know, not really caring. And she came along, and. 
I want to please her. I want her to be happy. So at the end of the day, I want I look at that and I'm saying like, yo, like black okay. men. I said this to my cousin on my way here. I said, cuz I said when I when when the world started to slow down, what you did now? It's yeah. slowing down for me. That's why I have this podcast. That's why I have conversations with people. The world slowed down for me so much. I said, cuz. Black men, black people in general. I said I wanted to have this conversation with this dope ass couple because, like, uh, black people are always in uh, survival mode yeah, and okay. fight or flight. So yeah. we never really get to sit down and 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 have these like yeah. the co- intimate yeah. conversations that y'all have. And her telling you how well I want you to do this and you should yeah. do your yeah. hair this way or like as I'm just speaking from a perspective of what I went through as a child. Yeah, I didn't have food to eat. I had to go get some money, so I sold drugs. I didn't have clothes on my back, so I just wore what I wore. Yeah. Uh, these were all survival tactics that we were forced into. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people want to say, well, uh, well, listen, I didn't have time to go to school. I didn't have time to focus on my books. I was too busy worried about how I was going to eat the next day. Mm-hmm. I was too busy worried about when my mama was going to kick me out the house and who mm-hmm. I was going to sleep with or who, who couch I was going to sleep on. Mm-hmm. So as, as, as black people and as uh, minorities in this country, a lot of us were put in products. I mean, a lot of us was put in environments to where we just became a product of our environment. And we were always, like, I like when you said survival mode because yeah. that's what you hear. But I'm going to tell you like this. you a father. you yeah. a husband. I mean, a boyfriend. Uh, you, you go to work every day. You take care of your kids. Sometimes you do need to treat yourself yeah. and your woman. Yeah. And what I mean by that is. I'm about to go. I'm about to surprise her. Go get a nice little outfit. Just put it on, just to yeah. you know, show I could do this without her help. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like even like I know my girl does. My girl does it too. Like I just come home one day after a show or something. I'm like, God damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but but you have yeah. to do that because it keeps your your mate happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and that's keep- why I don't I don't I don't argue that point no more. You know what I mean? <laughs> when she wants me to do something, I'm like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Like I have my own point of view. But I agree with you 100%. Like, you do have to. Like, if that's what makes her happy to see me, you know what I mean, in a, in a better headspace or a better situation, then I'm, I'm more than happy to do it. Because my whole thing is I want her to be happy. You know what I mean? So for me, if, it, if, 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 my, if having the latest shoes or having whatever is, is going to be the one thing that she's going to look at and say, that's my man, then I'm going to do it. Not the latest shoes. Well, I'm not saying. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Though. Well, let's let's hit this topic before we get up out of here. I want to have this conversation about Sexy Red. Sexy Red got a video that she just came out with. We already know she was scratching at the. Let's, let's watch this uh, sexy red clip I want you to hear, and we're going to have a conversation on what she's doing to the community. A lot of shit. Like, I want to drop more merch, drop some lip gloss. Like, I got a whole a bunch. lip gloss line? I can yeah. see that. I got a lip gloss line. Okay. Yeah. What's it called? It's called Sexy Bitch. It makes you feel like you that bitch. Fur ass colors, too. You want me to tell you more? I can tell you more about the color. A little bit more, yeah. Okay, so I got a cream color. It's white. It look like nut. I got a clear color. I call that coochie juice. I got a pink one. It's called pussy hole pink. Brown one, booty hole brown. <laughs> Which one would look good on me? <coughs> the green one. It's called gonorrhea. Because you know how the discharge be green? Well, my friend told me hers was green, so I just made her some green, you know. A lot yeah. of shit. Like, I want to drop more merch, drop some lip gloss. Like, I got a whole the bunch of Hey, I, I keep posting this young oh. lady. I want to be the first to say, I damn near am giving her promotion, but I'm, I'm trying to reverse the fucking promotion. Yes. Like, she is a tyrant to the black community and, and to black women. I'm explaining to you why. Uh, me and my cousin was having a conversation, and I was like, uh, hypothetically speaking, I'm, I'm not trying to say anything, but like, you don't look like Sexy Red, but all black women wear eyelashes, have long hair, mm-hmm. and like the demeanor is still there. Yeah. So what she's doing is the wrong person that watches and listen to her, mm-hmm. when they look at her, they're already putting her in that box. Yeah. And that's what I'm, like I said, it's no different than uh, when, when they started calling black men thugs. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like all black men became thugs. So what I want the cancel culture to do is get rid of this motherfucker because she's ruining the image of our black women that likes to wear their hair like her, her they yeah. eye like yeah. But it's still her on the forefront. 
What's your opinion on Sexy Red? Sexy Red is just her. It's just her. Yeah. She don't... Yeah. She don't represent she anybody. Don't, not at all. But do you think that the image of her could affect you? No, because I have my own mind. I got my own mind and nothing against Sexy Red, whatever, how she carries herself. That's good for her. But how I carry myself is completely different. I may wear my lashes, my hair, and all of that. But also in the same sense of everything that she's doing with the whole lip gloss and the different, whatever she named yeah, it, that was or whatever, that's her. Yeah, I, that's I, her. I think that uh, I worded the question wrong. I, so so uh, what I mean is, mm -hmm. like it's no different than somebody out there right now mm -hmm. that has a black hat on to the back, mm -hmm. black shirt on, black shoes, and gray jogging pants. Mm -hmm. They shoot up a store right now. Yeah. I go out there, there's going to be somebody to see this on the news. Yeah. There's the guy right uh -huh. there. So so, so what I'm saying is, not necessarily, because you are, you do have your own mind. I'm saying the imagery of what majority of black women, uh, like mm -hmm. our, our swag and how so, we carry ourselves. I feel like now, for instance, me or others who are like me, mm -hmm. it's time for us to just change the game yeah. and just overpower her. Facts. Like, that's that's what I want. She's overpowered. Yeah. I mean, yeah, she's doing a lot. She's doing a lot, but well, also, she, I can do a lot too. The thing is, she speaks for her demographic. She does not speak for. When I see sexy red, I don't see all Black America. I don't. I see one woman who makes music that's but, fun for her and the people that listen to her. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think there's a whole another group of women who love Lauryn Hill. I think there's a whole another group of women who love Rhapsody. There's a whole group of women who she, love. I don't think she represents anybody. But Rap City is not glorified. Like you're a hundred percent right, and, and you're absolutely right about that. But my whole thing is that's that's up to us to change that, right? Like we've got to say we don't represent. We we are saying that, but there's a machine, mm -hmm. and I want to. There's I, a machine. I right? want to keep pushing and poking the machine. Yeah, and, and and that part I will agree with. But the whole point of the matter is like. I still don't believe that Sexy Rex speaks for every black woman. No, no, fuck no. You know what no. I mean? I think she speaks for people that are like her. But she that also, group, she's also influencing, though, the younger girls. She is influencing younger but there's a lot of different so, artists who, who... Like, look, at the end of the day, as, 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 as a hit... I used to perform music, right? You know, I used to be out there connecting with a lot of different people. Um, I spoke for what I believed in. I spoke for the things that represented me and the people that thought like me. I didn't expect to speak for every black man in America. My whole point is when I made... But if you if you had 10 million followers... Mm -hmm. and I would thousand, still only speak for me. But but if speaking for you could affect the black community... Mm -hmm. I just think they need a cutter. Well, look, I, look, that's the sad part. But you also have to... Not, yeah, but I think you also have to give an artist time to grow. Like if you look at Snoop, you know what I'm saying? Snoop grew. It took him 15. Like 60. But, that, but my point is, we let him grow as an artist, right? When he first came out, yeah, it was it, he was he, he 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 had a whole thing convicted of murder. He had I mean a lot. Of I don't shit. want to compare sexy. No, 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 no. I'm not saying I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, we gave Snoop a chance to grow. No, Snoop we came gave, out hot. He came out as but a that's real my point. artist. But, my, but that's my point. We didn't. But at the time. They were trying to censor his music. They didn't know that he was going to end up being friends with Martha Stewart and shit back then. Yeah, the but, whole point that I'm making is is that he represented black men for a long time. And still do. And and he still does. Yeah. But he grew as a man. He grew as an artist. He's still a crip. He's still a crip, but but most people don't know him for that now. Everybody knows him for they that. They know him from that now. But what I'm saying is... Is that he's the biggest crip ever? And you know what? They use him to promote their, their products. They use him to promote their TV shows. They use him to promote why? Because he's also he also grew as a man. Sexy Red is a client. But she's she, new. She's but, a client. She's but she's also coming. But you gotta understand that she's Sexy Red's also coming after Cardi B, Lotto. We like, can say the same thing about them. Oh, uh, yeah. I, you the can say the same thing. You name almost threw up in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? You can say the same exactly, thing. Exactly. But but the thing is, she looked up to them, right? This competition, it's always been in hip hop though. Correct though, but she looked up to them. I feel like And now they're they're, none they're of these, now they're nobody's they're coming right. out new. 
that's going to change the game. They all they want to come out being yeah. like everybody else. We need more leaders. She, there you go. Yeah, like, so to me, at the end of the day, it's entertainment, man. I, you know what I mean? We make the choice yeah. of what we decide to be influenced by. Well, why would Uncle me, Luke uh, censor if, 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 if entertainment is not... If he entertainment not, is if he entertainment never, is just he should have never been. Why was he? Why was they trying to mute Uncle? Luke? He should have never been. He should have been. He should have been able to. To me, as an artist, there are certain formats where I believe you should be able to speak your mind. Whether it's writing a book, whether it's making a movie, whether it's making music, you should be able to say what's on your mind because you're an artist in that in that field. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Luke should never been censored ever. You know what I mean? People should have made the choice whether they wanted to listen to him or not. Same thing with Sexy Red. No, the, the only difference I is the machine should... is behind Sexy Red. Then we need to change the machine, not change we the can't. artist. We can't. We not, can't. Not, no. We can't. She is the industry plant. She... There is no stopping them. Do you understand? All right, so I'll, I'll break it down to you in layman's terms. Before I started the smartest dumb people, I'm going to show you how, how, how big this machine is. And this is me on a fucking petty hourly wage scale. Yeah. Before I started any comedy, before I did any podcasting, I would post a picture, 200, 300 likes. Yeah. I could post something right now and get two likes. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, they're like, oh, you trying to make money, nigga? Sit your ass down. Yeah. If you ain't going to pay us, if I go to our post right now, I can show you a post right now. Facebook tells me, and this is what I mean by the machine. I'm going to show you a post from the smartest dumb people. Facebook tells me I have to pay a certain amount of money. So we... Okay, so I'm saying that there's a machine. Okay, so this sex is my point. is on the other side. This of the is machine. my point. We know about the machine, right? We still, but we still feed into the we, machine. We don't have to feed into the machine. We kind of, we kind of have to. No, we don't. We, is, we, yeah. we don't. This, the, the point is, is that if you know, if you know at the end of the day that sexy red is demolishing the black community or black, we don't have to listen to it. The machine no, is going pushing our face. But you know what though? Exactly. It's pushing her out there. Okay, but it's pushing her out there. But we can only if somebody but pushed. Has, but what she, with the stuff that she posts, she knows people are gonna gravitate to it. Right. You know why? Because we still buying it. How would they know unless we were interested in it? If we were, if we were talking about, if we but were she, talking she about, just, she says things. She's ignorant. She says rash of shit. She, she has, has to be another. She Nicki is she, 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 she has, is slow. She, I get that. Nicki Minaj. I, I get that. A, I, I get that, but at the end of the day, Nicki Minaj can rap though. That's, 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 yeah, that's my point. Nicki Minaj so can also be very. We like look. We like the ratchet shit. Exactly. We like the ignorant shit. It does not mean that that defines who we are. No, though. that's the point that I'm making. Like it's like if you go, if you go, you have a three course meal, and you only eat the, the, the dessert, then that the, the shit that's bad for you, and you overlook the meal. If you only eat the dessert, then yeah, you're only gonna get the dessert. You're not gonna get none of the, the nutrients, none of the good shit. The whole point of what I'm saying is there's a whole meal outside of that that we have to feed ourselves to. We can't just go for the dessert. And that's what we're doing when we're listening to somebody like Sexy Red. That shit is good for five minutes. It's microwave rap. We're going into it, we're listening to it for five minutes, and we expect that that person who made the, 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 the dessert is the whole meal, and it's not. We're smarter than that. We have to believe that we're smarter I, than I that, wish. Bro. I wish we have to be smart. I wish people I mean, thought you, like that, though. No, they, the, the problem is, is that we're blaming the machine when we're feeding into the machine. We know that shit is bad for us. We know that shit is bad, and we're. But that's just like going. That's just like going to McDonald's. No, you should. You don't have to go to McDonald's. You, you know there's better options you out there. Don't. But what what's the easier way to get McDonald's are everywhere. That's my point, right? But you don't see but all these solid joints. Easy access. And, exactly. It's easy and so so sexy red is so we can't blame accessible. The point is go. the point is we can't blame sexy red if we don't eat the cheap cheeseburger. We I gotta do see we sexy gotta, red. We gotta do. Oh no no! <laughs> the only thing that they're asking us to do is to put in a little bit more effort for ourselves. Instead of driving by the, the the McDonald's and eating the cheeseburger, we should say, you know what? That shit is not good for me. Yeah. Let me put in a little bit of extra work and make my own fucking salad out. Well, I think that's if you don't if you don't take the extra five minutes to do that shit, you can't blame anybody when you're three hundred pounds. I think that's sexy red. We what? blame in McDonald's for being McDonald's and we can decide to go to But we Sexy, we're blaming no, no. We're blaming we're blaming sexy red for being who she is. There are people. I, I don't have a phone to call like you, Ken. You probably call my phone, huh? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't have a phone to call you, Ken. Or else I would call you. Yeah, like my, my, my whole can't call you. My whole point is, at the end of the day, we don't have to eat McDonald's. We don't have to listen to sexy red. No, it's cool but, for the moment. It's cool for the club. It's cool for the radio. But if you want something deeper than that, what you if you what if you have a car? I'm talking about. 
I'll, I'll speak for myself. Yeah. What if you have a car that doesn't have a radio on it, but a regular radio, and you got to listen to 106. I turn my shit off. So now nigga got to ride silence? Look, it's either, come on, it's, either, it's either poison your mind. Or you don't. That's you know what I'm saying? She's so not right side. I can listen to I can listen to that shit, but it doesn't affect who I am as a man. I can no, listen to it, sexy it, 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 all day. No, I'm also I'm also change the community shit. So it affects me as as a whole. Yeah. It, uh, like I'm on a I'm on some look, uh, it takes a bit of my whole thing is let kids. my whole thing is mm-hmm. let let those artists do what they do. Let them learn on their own. But I don't have, have to you know what you're saying? You're, you're saying it like the black people that say, let me tell you what you're saying it like. You're saying it like that brother that'll be like shit, I'm minding my business. It ain't my business. No 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 Every, not, it should be your it, business. No no it is my business. You got daughters. No man. no but what I'm saying you know what? My daughters don't listen to say You anything. don't know that. I do know that because I talk to are them. Are you with them right now? Yeah. They were at my house right now. No, are you? With my them daughter right now? will tell you right now. She my daughter not, tells me she'll listen daughter, to sexy red. My, Let her be with her friends. My whole thing is I can listen to whatever. The point is, is that I'm educated to know what's gonna affect my she's mind. Like a bad she, she's a bad influence. Well, I grew up listening to Listening to Too Short, listening to NWA. I don't call my woman out of her name ever. I can listen to a hundred Too Short songs. I've never called her out of her name. It, the the point that Not I'm early though. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. I've been. You you can call any of my exes and ask them if I ever called them out. I just hate I can, that. I can tell you. I can tell you a hundred percent. I can listen to a hundred Too Short songs and I would never call right, her so, out of her name. So so if you if you're that weak minded to let an, an artist who is making money. Who does not care about you influence how you live? You shouldn't be listening to music. I'm worried about my children. Your our children, children, your children. children. The children. I'm not worried about me. I, my head is. My whole thing where is. It needs my whole thing is. But if you are, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, your children are going to follow suit. They're not going to. If you're there in your children's lives, the the three minutes that it takes them to listen to a Cardi B song, but you got a sexy look, red. Look at it this way though, we got teenagers. Okay. Yes. Teenagers in this listen to sexy red. Okay, so some of these girls are like, oh, I gotta be like sexy red, so the so the guy can be ex- pay attention. But that's yeah. temporary. But this is my point. That's what they temporary. don't. They don't know. It's that. a temporary. They this just the, need to shoot. The them. point that I'm making is is that's temporary. You sound. This is what it sounds like to me. I'm. I'm you sound very naive. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm telling you. I've done. I've I'll tell done you what. I, I said to my cousin years ago. My daughter would never act like that. I think. I think. You know what's happening right now? My daughter is exa- exactly acting the I'm, same way his daughter would. Well, act I can hear. Like, let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. How many times have you watched Boys in the Hood? A thousand times. How many times have you watched Menace to Society? A thousand times. How many times have you watched? Shots? And I wanted to be all no, the no, motherfuckers. No. I wanted to be all the motherfuckers. Let me ask you though. How many times have you watched them? A thousand times. How many people have you killed? I, I sold no, a lot no, of drugs. No, 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 no. I got a lot of scuffles. You did, but are you still that same guy? No, but but, but that no, no, influenced no. me. That influenced I, me. I can influence is one thing, but who you are at your core, who you are. I'm not saying about influence is influence, right? I am asking you, are you those people? I'm Forty-two on, doesn't matter. If at you, twenty-five, no, I no. was boys in the hood. At twenty-six, I'm I was saying, boys in the hood. When I'm temporarily. That's exactly but I don't want no, my, no, 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 listen, my but, daughter to be temporarily sexy red. I feel you. But at the end of the day, what I'm saying is you, we can't stop the temporary influence, right? We can only be role models for our own children and who we right. are. So, so my whole point is you can listen and, and, and you can vibe with whoever you want to vibe with. Who you are at your core and how you were raised is ultimately going to tell the story. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sexy Red is not going to be who you are at 35 and 45 years old. You know what I mean? Unless that's how you are. But if you're listening... I don't know, right, right. You, you, you but kind of, I don't know. Today's world, they don't look at it that way. They thinking this is this is, this is is the new it. TikTok I, made I copying. It. This like, is the I, new it. TikTok I, is I the copycat that. central, right? I so you got that. copycat central with yeah. TikTok. Now they t- they started with the cop uh, do this dance. Everybody's doing this, right? So then they started with Everybody that. Everybody follows yeah. suit. Yeah. So now there it's, it's a mental. But trend. I don't yeah. think I, this. I'm not uh, disagreeing with you guys. I'm saying I don't think that that's. I don't think. And I, 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 yeah, yeah. I think if I'm a good father and I'm raising my kids every single day, I don't think a career. Like Cardi Red, uh, not Cardi Red, but Sexy Red is going to change who my daughter he is. He said Cardi Red. Yeah, Cardi Red. I, 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 but I don't think. I'm just saying. If I'm if I'm an influence to my kids, I don't, I don't think. I don't think that. 
her influence is gonna be bigger than mine at the end of the day. I don't. I, I don't think so. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with you because these motherfucking superstars is raising I, our kids. I get that, but then they they are. Then we shouldn't be parents. But that's just like okay. Then we should not be. We should not. That's be. just like I'm a preacher's kid, and you and we were all brought up in a preacher's kid. You know how my siblings are. Right, but, but they were brought up in a But are you more like your father or are you more like are you more like sexy red? Who are you more like? I didn't have an influence like no, sexy no, red. Back does, yes, you did. You had little Kim, you had all of them. You did. Little Kim was not no, no sexy red. Yes, she, she did was. not have a lip gloss coming out called She don't have a lip gloss coming out called that. It doesn't matter. What I'm saying is what I'm saying is is that we're using those things as as oh our kids are gonna be different. I don't believe so. I believe that if you go into with your with your own mindset, your own influence, your own standards yeah. to your kids, those little because sexy red's not gonna be around forever. You are, and you are. Your influence is gonna last longer than anything. Any hour. But at the end of the days, I feel like TikTok is raising our kids. And, TikTok, and they shouldn't be. But they, but they, they're not. We are very active parents. We're very good parents. Mom, you mom, know that. Mom, but as soon as that don't. phone flips on, this is what it is. They want to wear the. The latest whatever they want to do the dances they want to yeah, listen I'm, to I the latest you I know. don't disagree with but that. we're still this good is, parents this is old school man no I mean you I, are I, old I, don't, I don't I don't disagree with that I just I I believe in my opinion that I believe that if we're doing our job do we need more leaders I, absolutely but I don't believe so sexy red I don't believe sexy red is the leader and I don't think she has that much no. I don't think I don't think she's her influence not. I don't think her influence is that hard to I override don't. you as a father. I don't think her. I don't think her influence is that hard to override you as a mother. I think I she has a lot of influence. Hey, she the, does. Hey guys, but so do you. You're with them every single day. Hey guys. Now it's time to say goodbye <laughs> to all my Negro friends. Echo Casey. Hey. hey. Listen, this is the smartest dumb people. <laughs> Give them y'all panhandles how they can find y'all. They might want to get some relationship advice from y'all. Give them the panhandles. Gerard Hunter, Facebook or Instagram, or Dice Two. Look, Sag Seven, man. That that. Was, if anybody knows me through my music, man, Sag Seven, y'all know who I am. If you know, um, how, how how can they? I, I'm sorry to say this, but I have to say this to all my guests. Yeah. I ain't trying to get my fucking. Don't shoot the shot. Don't do no weird shit. Yeah. How can they find y'all if they want to get some? Love Blossom. Love Blossom. Yeah. Don't you fucking add her, follow her, nothing. She, she got me. Leave her alone. Don't leave these people alone. But if y'all got some relationship advice y'all need, holler at them. This is far as dumb people. Anthony, that June Johnson. Thank you for coming through, Gerard. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming through, Queen. Y'all have a great night. Hey, yo, what's up? Have you seen the Smartest Dumb People podcast? Yo. Are you dumb? I'm getting smart.